Hey what's up gamers, welcome to the Grey Knight review. Now you might see the Blue Knight review and see that I didn't upload another character review for 11 months. Now this isn't because of the fact that I had quit the series, no 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 no. It was because in those 11 months, I, the great King Virgin II, was on a journey through the tallest and greatest mountains of the planet in order to find the Temple of the Grey Knight and discover the true ancient secret of the Grey Knight once and for all. That the Grey Knight is grey. Nah, but yeah, I'm back to doing the character review series, which I'm quite happy about, and I hope you gamers are as well. So just really quickly, two things before I get into the video. First of all, the order of the characters and the structure of the videos is the exact same as before, so it's nothing different compared to these four videos. And the second thing is something I already quickly showed in my announcement video, which is this piece of fine Mona Lisa Leonardo da Bibi modern art. It was requested by the epic gamer LazyBrad on Discord, or BB on YouTube. YouTube. And it was actually drawn by a friend of Lazy Bread, the Steam user Soylent and Wine, or as his idea says, R R R R R Robin Good. Fucking hell, that took me a long time. And he drew this beauty of an art piece. So thanks, Lazy Bread and Soylent and Wine, you have now been accepted into the After School Enemy <laughs> Club. Anyway, with that out of the way, the Grey Knight. So Grey Knights are basically the soldiers of the kingdom you fight for. They can usually be seen helping you throughout the game. They can also be seen dying throughout the game and they can also be seen stealing your fucking gold those bitches so the gray knight is the first character you will unlock in castle crashers right after you beat the barbarian boss also known as fat you will unlock mr gray knight now what could you compare the gray knight to in real life well it's simple Dream stands. In other words, they're all identical, they all say the same stuff, and they're all pretty dumb as well, and they despise anyone who isn't part of their cult. But you know what? I take it back. You know why? Because the Grey Knight is an absolute fucking masculine chat that will even turn the manliest men gay and blush at the sight of the Grey Knight. While dream stands are fucking lame and annoying, and I can guarantee you there isn't a single dream stand who has seen a vagina before, so they're also beta virgins. Well, nice. I can't can't wait to now get a fucking Twitter post made about me by some embryo who can't even wipe his own fucking ass about how I'm being racist and joophobic or whatever the fuck. Anyway, with that out of the way, the Grey Knight's magic. So his splash attack is- No. Just- no. I've explained this before, but the arrow storm, arrow rain, whatever you want to call it, eats HIV, it's the same thing. But this magic is okay, it's kind of slow, but at the same time it isn't the worst magic out there. It's just like I'm sure I've mentioned before, just that a ton of characters have been not blessed, but cursed with having this magic. And it's kind of the filler magic, which I think is quite a shame, but still, it is mostly inoffensive. It's just that every motherfucker in East Africa or whatever this game takes place has this magic but anyway his splash attack is pretty okay it's not great but not bad either so for his magic projectile it's a bomb that will bouncy bounce once before exploding now i quite like this like i've mentioned before in my original gray knight review and that is because the bomb is arguably better than a normal magic projectile because due to it bouncing and basically having gravity it's easier to hit compared to the standard magic projectile although it isn't great for range but i personally see myself using the magic projectile up close and i think this goes for other people as well so i don't think this is that much of a problem and as well the bomb does fire damage which is a nice bonus so force air projectile it's the same as le magique au projectile but this time it goes downward and i'm quite happy again that this is the bouncy bounce bomb because normal air projectiles it's kind of like they're kind of precise to hit but these bombs are much easier to land which is quite good so for his elemental infusion it's more damage instead of an elemental attack which like i said in this video i prefer because yes elemental stuff is cool i guess but still it doesn't really offer any real advantage compared to just doing a shit ton of damage so i prefer this elemental infusion big time and and then for his magic jump, he just eats chili for dinner and then obtains the power to shit himself and jump in the air while doing so. 10 out of 10 magic. So then, who does one unlock by completing the game as the Grey Knight? Well, once you've beaten the game with the Grey Rectangle Man, you unlock Stoveface. What a beautiful name. Just one place behind Microwave Head. 
Yeah. So then his rating, well, his magic is kind of mixed. His splash attack and magic jump are kind of meh, not really anything special or outstanding. But his magic projectile and air projectile and his elemental infusion are quite good and definitely useful. And therefore, I will give the colorblind knight a 7.5 out of 10. I think the gray knight, despite looking like the definition of a mech every man, still has pretty good magic that'll definitely help you out. Especially his bombs for me are quite a highlight of him. So then, do I recommend him for insane mode? Well, like the red knight, he fits it to the sort of category. This is because although you can beat insane mode with him and be okay still, his magic isn't amazing in insane mode, so therefore I'd say it's up to you whether or not you think he's a good pick or not. Okay, so yeah, that was the gray knight review. It definitely felt good coming back to Castle Crashes. I won't loy, mate. And I could clearly see from the comments of the announcement video that a lot of you were quite happy about the return of the series, which I'm also happy to see. But despite Despite that, I do want to ask you epic 12 inch is having gamers one thing, and that is that if you have the time and interest, like I said in the announcement, I'd really appreciate it if you could give my other content a try, because eventually, although that will take a while, the character review series will be done, and although I will still make some more Castle Crashes content, like one off video, still for the most part, I'm just gonna go back to full game analysis, swish swish rush bus, and these funny moment highlight garbage videos, and maybe be streaming potentially and just some other stuff so in preparation for that i'd really appreciate it if you could take the time out of your day to check my other garbage out don't get me wrong if you don't want to do that or you don't like my other content that's 100 percent fine i'm just giving this little extra promotion for my other content for the day that i finish castle crashers character review series and as well since these videos took me incredibly long to make and are filled with editing and jokes and stuff but yeah that was the video be sure to like the video no no, not this video. I, I said the video. That doesn't mean I'm talking about the Grey Knight review. I mean this video. Because God is the most important thing in one's life. <laughs> not for me though, because I want to end it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe or I'll get your Minecraft girlfriend to break up with you.